Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, what I want to do is I want to open up this guy. I've done a quick review on this before, but we never opened it up. And I start thinking about it because I have a new generator, a nice, you know, improved generator. <laughs> Has some more functions. And I was thinking about that, and I thought, I, I need to do a review of that new generator. But then I thought, you know... I was wondering what the insides look since this is so small and I always meant to look at it. So let's just jump in, open the hood, look underneath. All right guys, so we have this little Unity UTG 962E. I thought we'd take this apart because I've got a new Unity generator and we're gonna to wanna to look at that. So I thought we'd start off looking at the one I've been using here in the lab. There's four screws back here, let's take them out. Okay, guys, I actually have these separated now. See this little connector right here? There's a little black piece here that has to be kind of pulled up so that you can pull the strap out so you can, you know, this little ribbon cable. And, yeah, he just connects there. So they're they're kind of bound together. But look down inside here. We have a little metal can. Now, I've, all right, guys, so I've got the board removed. And there's this connector that was, had this little ribbon cable in it. And to remove it, you just pull this little plastic piece up a little bit and it releases it. And so you can slide it out. And so we end up with this board on the front panel. Okay. We're gonna look at a close up of this. And then this one has a nice uh, metal can for EMI. And it's, I don't know if it's mu metal, could be. Uh, there's the screws, there's four screws holding the top on right here. And then there's four screws holding this uh, bottom, well, the metal piece down to the board, which I think also held it to the bottom, but it's loose. Let me pull it out. Uh, yes, you can see the little plastic bosses down here in the bottom, four of them. So uh, eight screws holding this thing together. And by the way, when you take the screws out of the front of it, or out of the bottom to take this first board out. It's also got these little clips right here and the plastic. So you, you kind of got to be careful pulling that apart. But, uh, and you can kind of see the features down here on this piece of the plastic. So uh, lots of nice little holes for air. Uh, and here's our metal can. Now it's loose now. So let's carefully pull off that ribbon. That's what that metal can looks like. And I see a whole bunch of relays, a bunch of capacitors, looks like a bunch of power banks here. And a heat sink held on by an interesting little spring clip. So that's interesting. We're gonna look under the microscope at this stuff. Wow, look at all that. So looks pretty interesting, a lot of parts. These boards feel nice and heavy. Uh, I mean, we do have three BNCs over here, power, uh, USB, and uh, the power switch actually. So yeah, I mean nice, you know, they look like nice boards just from my eyes. So let's look underneath our microscope, see what we see. And there is the board or most of it. You see the buzzer in the top left corner and some of the important chips. We'll take a closer look at those. Okay guys, there is the main co uh, processor. Uh, difficult to read, very difficult. And there is the other chip much easier to read. And there's one of the little parts right off the connector. And there's a 5.5 and 3.3 volt uh, coming off the regulator there. And there's the other regulator in the other uh, corner. Okay guys, there's the BNC and a bunch of those uh, relays. And it looks like the power supply circuitry up on top. All right, I flipped the board over so you could see uh, this heat sink and the parts underneath. And uh, we're gonna take a closer look at those, but I think the part number's been etched off. And there's that power supply at the bottom now, now that I flipped it over. But yeah, there we go. Kind of show you the whole thing. All right, guys, so check out the chips. It looks like the part number's been rubbed off. But see the trace work underneath? Look at that fine trace work. Uh, they've matched the length of those pairs, they're differential pairs, so the impedance is the same. See those? traces across the board and a bunch of them there. Really crazy stuff. That's so that both traces get to the pins at the same time. 
and one differential pair compared to its other pairs that they also are all the same length. Alright guys, and I'm wondering if that is, I'm not sure what that part is. It says 4CY1. Makes me wonder if it's some kind of crystal. It's coming right off the power supply, so it could, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. That could be a regulator. And there's another interesting part. It's right off the other DC input. And that's off the power supply circuit. So another regulator, but the part number's been etched off. It's got a 330 microhenry inductor above it. So some kind of switching regulator. And there's the output, plus and minus 13 volt outputs, test points, and some Unity uh, PCB information. All right, guys. So what do you think? Uh, pretty cool, right? I mean, it looks nice. Big can. Looks like a lot of protection. This thing performs really well. I leave it right here because I use it all the time. But I think I'm going to reorganize my bench. And with the new generator, it's going to be really nice to have. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. But let's take a look. Well, so that's why I wanted to look inside. Just to share that with you before we move ahead. All right. Hope you like it. Two thumbs up my patrons and my members of my channel. Thanks, guys. And Danny, the team member. Way to go. Um, oh, and if you liked it, super thank you. Really appreciate that. Man, last week I had a few people hit that. That was awesome. So buy me a cup of coffee or maybe a beer for a rant. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.